winners. And that would be Miles George. Yay. Yay. Okay. And the next person, this is um, an award for the person who has been the best helper, the happiest helper, and that would be, look at, she's smiling, she knows. <laughs> that would be Emma Child. <laughs> And the next one, this is to, um, I have to say something about this one first. You gotta give me a look. This person, this is the Remarkable Handwriting Award. And this person has had absolutely the best handwriting and the best coloring all year long. And we used her as an example. And we said, we told all the boys when they're learning to color, you have to learn to write like a girl and color like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> because she can do such a wonderful job and for her excellent class work. And that was Mackenzie. Thank you. The next one, most responsible girl and her excellent classwork, and that is Eleni Dos Ramos. The awesome author. He can write stories. His handwriting is excellent. His spelling, his spelling is always perfect. And he has excellent classwork, and that's Julian Newman. Hey. And the next one, um, this is Magnificent Manners from the girl for the girl, and that would be Zaya Chenard. two awards. This was, um, well, she has a heart of gold. She's always such a good child and she's really sweet to everyone and she was voted by the classmates as the class president and that would be Peyton Seppin. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, this person has two also uh, most athletic and the most and the overall general good at great attitude and he also got an award from the media center for um, the most words read this year and that would be Mr. Tate Saul. goes to the person with the extraordinary effort. He has worked so hard. He is probably the hardest worker in this classroom. On everything he does, he tries as hard as he can, and he's done an excellent job, and that is England Jackson. 